SK View is a special view that displays SpriteKit content. These contents are provided by a SK Scene object, which we'll have a look at shortly. A scene will be presented by using the present scene method of SK View, like we saw earlier. If a scene is presented, the SK View will always switch between rendering and displaying the content. This can be paused by setting the pause property of SK View to true, like so. SK View dot pause is equal to true. But we won't need it, so we'll just delete it. That's all we need to know about object SK View for now. An SK Scene object consists of the actual content in SpriteKit. SK Scene is the so called root node in a hierarchical SpriteKit structure. We'll go into more detail about SK nodes in our next chapter. A scene calculates its updates in the following order. First, the update method will be called. Then all actions for the children of the scene are evaluated. After that, the did evaluate actions method is called. Now all of the physics related contents are executed. And then the did simulate physics method is called. Next, all of the existing constraints are applied and afterwards the did apply constraints method is called. And finally, the did finish update method is called and the scene renders. Everything and updates the display of all of the contents. Besides the update method, most of these methods are rarely implemented if you need something special. But I feel like it is important that you know how the basics work if you want to work with something professionally. You don't need to know everything by heart. You can always do a quick Google search or read up on something in the Apple documentation. To demonstrate how those functions are being called after one another, I've prepared a little something. I've written down all of the methods we talked about inside of my scene. The override keyword is necessary since the methods are implemented in SK scene and need to be overwritten. I'll just let it print out the numbers 1 to 5 in the set order. If everything is correct, it should show up in the right order in our console. In our did finish update method, I'll just add pause for the scene to true. Otherwise, all of our prints would be executed up to 60 times per second, should the app run on 60 frames per second. If I now run the app, I see that the output from 1 to 5 is correctly displayed in the console. Again, we won't need those methods often, but it's good to have sort of an overview about how the update of the scene works. Another important method of the scene we've already seen is did move to view. This method is called when the scene shows up on the screen and it makes sense to initialize all of the rest later. This will make even more sense later when we actually work with it. And the same goes for the touches begin method, which is easily explained when we work with it. In the next chapter, we'll have a look at SK node object.